Hey, it's Mike and I'm with 1901.com. Let's go to the movie. If you like this music that's being featured in this video, I want you to go and check out Foot Shooter. That music is being provided by Foot Shooter. Foot Shooter, they're a local Memphis act and they're great. I love their music, I love their sound. Um, they got an album coming out soon and I will link all of that at the end of this video. So you gotta watch to the end to get the link to where they are. So uh, in, in the uh, the two films that we have tonight, uh, Tickled and uh, Tower, are actually, uh, they were in um, a couple of uh, larger festivals, uh, the uh, Sundance Film Festival and South by Southwest. Really excited to have uh, Amazon Studios here, uh, as well as uh, Malco Theaters and uh, AutoZone as our marquee sponsors. Uh, Tower, just a little uh, preface, is a uh, uh, is about a, an actual uh, event that um, was in 1966 at uh, the University of Texas in Austin when a sniper got up into a tower and held the campus uh, hostage for a period. And uh, the film is based on uh, actual testimonials uh, from that experience. Wow. Wow. This, this really about all I can say about Tower. It's... It's a powerful, powerful movie. Okay, just just imagine. No internet. No, of course, no Instagram, no Facebook, no, none of that. There's a, a mass shooter on a college campus, and there's no way for people to let everyone know. What all we have now, all the technology we have right now that wasn't around in 1966. So these people were just going about their day and there's a sniper shooting random people. And these people are just walking around like nothing's going on because they don't know. They, they have no clue. You know, they have a, a, a guy from a, a, the news station that's going around with a, a speaker on his car trying to warn people, but you know, that only does so much if you really think about it. I think one of the bigger things that got to me about this film, which I almost cried like two or three times. I, I, I can't lie. It's just the, the accounts, the eyewitness accounts, the victims accounts. The victims, they all felt some sort of guilt. And, you know, this is a time before people really talked about feelings the way that we talk about feelings now. I mean, if you really think about it now, we really talk about our feelings a lot. We, we really talk about our feelings. But then in the 60s, people didn't have the avenues that we have now to talk about their feelings. So, you know, I don't want to give away a lot of the movie, but I will say that, you know, there were times in the movie that people felt that they should have done something quicker and that something would have been avoided. The, um, the total kill were 16 and there were 47, I believe, that were injured. One of the, one of the ladies in the, in the film said, you know, during that time, it really separated the, the cowards from the brave people. You know, when we think about these mass shootings or just... Like a situation where we, we always say, oh, I would have done this. But in reality, you, you don't know what you would do. I would hope that I would react and want to save people. I don't truly know what would happen if it was a mass shooting and there were people hurt. I would want to help people, though. I, I definitely would want to help people, and I think that a majority of people will want to help. Should I, should I put myself in harm's way to help someone else, either protecting self or preserving the life of others. Hey, it was a kid that was that was just on a paper route and he ends up shot. If I was gonna give this film a rating, I would have to say it was a 10 out of 10. 
it was great. I mean, it really, really tugged on my emotions. I don't know where to get this film. I, I'm going to look for it. I'm hoping it, it makes it to Netflix. I, I wanted to win an Academy Award because um, I thought it was that great. Once again, I'm going to link the music. Um, I'm probably going to put it down below. You know, through the magic of uh, video editing. Also, if you can, uh, get out this weekend and try to catch a movie at the film festival. Um, it's it's a great opportunity um, it, to see some movies that, you know, we don't normally get to see, you know, besides the huge blockbusters. Uh, you know, some of the better movies are these independent films. And also support independent artists, independent filmmakers. Life is for living. Peace. So we can give their answers I run the fever It's easy to share And a pleasure to host It's a mindful There's a handful